today's video is about a 2020.40.3 in Tesla. So this latest software update is going to change the way speed zones are determined, at least on city roads. So not highways for the minute, but what Tesla are moving from is a speed zone. So between speed signs, it uh, had an understanding, a data set that told it what speed, speed zone the, the car should set. And uh, that's now moving to using the cameras in the car and they're going to be able to read the speed signs and thankfully this is supported in Australia as well as America and so it reads the speed signs and then adjusts your cruise based on that for autopilot which is awesome so I've got a little test uh, I know a little area in in town in Wodonga here that uh, is is not accurate most places are really good but uh, this specific road drops from 60 down to 50 even though the speed zone is actually still 60 so go and record it prior to the update install the update and then we'll be back okay so here's the impacted area so we got the speed zone it's 60 here autopilot knows it's 60 we just keep driving down this road and without a speed change this is going to change to 50 which is obviously incorrect so bingo we switched to 50 and that's what needs to be solved by this update so we'll come back after we do apply the update and we'll see if 2020.40.3 and the new speed sign recognition solves exactly this issue all right so we've got 2020.40.3 installed we're back on the same road it's 60 here we're now reading the speed signs and there they are showing up on the display 60 and then just at the top of this rise is where it, it basically went back to 50 before so if we stay at 60 and we do the system works that's awesome so no longer relying on predefined zone areas that had some incorrect data in it. Now we're just going live, baby. Wherever the speed signs are, it's gonna be able to read them and then respond to them automatically. So that is just, it's just Tesla's AI working hard, isn't it? It's replacing what we do as humans, taking those inputs from the surrounding world, the, the driving environment that we see, and just responding accordingly. So reading those speed signs and understanding what you should do, slow the car, accelerate the car based on the zone that you're in. That's so good, and, and just, it's amazing how many signs there are, and you know, sometimes when you're cruising, you don't even really pay attention, because you, you, know, you know you're around the, the town, so it's a 50 or 60 zone, but uh, when you see it on the display, you're kind of pretty conscious just how many signs there are around. So we fire around here, and then we move from 60 to 80, so on autopilot and then we're at 80 and of course I locked it in so lock it in it's 80 another set of signs oh that's really nice it works really well like I'm really impressed with the fact that it fixed that issue that was one known spot I I uh, had encountered around Wodonga this is very cool to, to see that that is resolved and now you know, this immediately focus your attention on the next to-do item and uh, see me going through a few roundabouts because we love them here in Wodonga. So yeah, if, uh, if Elon gets a chance to prioritize something next, uh, I certainly would take advantage of roundabouts. Uh, I would love that to be very high up in the priority list. I just have like four or five of them on the way to, to work and on the way home. So you're doing, you know, if you come home for lunch, you're doing like 16 a day so it's it's a little bit uh, a little bit intense so yeah but as we get closer to Christmas the expectation obviously the rewrite of the software comes and we get closer to feature complete for FSD okay, so we're still stopping on green even though there's no car ahead of me so that's obviously US only for the minute Bring just all the traffic lights if I was following close enough to a car ahead it would have presented me through there but yeah, that's uh, 2020.4.3, 2020.40.3, a good, very cool new piece of functionality. It'll feel much the same. I think that's the, the sort of the takeaway is for the most part, there won't be too much of a difference if the speed zones, that was way faster. Like changing lanes, there's normally like a good second, second and a half, maybe two seconds delay between you initiating the lane change and then the lane change happening but that was that was almost instant which is kind of awesome has been one of the big complaints is 
it's slower than what you you would react as a human. You would indicate you know, a couple of couple of clicks and then you would move, move over. So that is really neat. If they've sped that up, that wasn't in the release notes at all. But that definitely felt quicker. And then other people are reporting that you know these models have been increased in in uh, in clarity, and that definitely looks like it. So when I pan around and zoom in the Model Three. That representation of the Model 3 definitely looks uh, looks a lot cleaner, high detailed. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't change anything, but it's definitely cool to see. And then when you zoom in on it, like uh, have it on an angle to to see speed signs, you know, like speed signs rendered in the 3D environment, that's really cool. So like this, so we're on the side, and we go through the 80 zone. And there we go, the two signs, and you pass through it. That's just cool. So change the lens again. Yeah, they've sped that up a ton. Absolutely, that is faster. That's cool. It's little things like that you just, you can't read about. You kind of got to experience, and then, yeah. But you know what's interesting about this implementation, this switch to cameras and, and using AI instead of um, zones, um, geographic zones of, of where the speed zones are, is that Tesla doesn't offer it in as an option. They've just switched to it. And, and they're clearly so confident about their ability to read those speed signs. It's only in the cities at the moment, not on highways, but their ability to read Australian signs, US signs, I think Canada as well. Uh, they are clearly very confident to just switch to it and not, you know, not give the users the option. That's just complexity that doesn't need to exist. So they, they just switch. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. This is a very cool update. There's a few of these updates that are kind of like just bug fixes and it's whatever, but today I'm kind of pleasantly surprised with that. That's a that's a good improvement of where we were. So that's it. That'll wrap up today's video. Thanks for joining me and make sure you subscribe. Cheers.